16th November 2022 will be marked in history as a day when the SLS rocket launched for the first time. The Artemis program, which is supposed to bring humans back to the moon, has finally begun. The launch was originally scheduled for 6.04 UTC, but the launcher experienced a hydrogen leak. So NASA sent specialists to the launch pad to tighten some screws on the valve, which proved helpful. However, more significant delay was caused by a malfunction on a radar tracking station. A mere replacement of an internet switch was enough to remove the last obstacle between the SLS and its maiden launch. Four RS-22 engines, followed by two solid rocket boosters, ignited at 6.47 UTC. Two, one, boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together, back to the moon and beyond. Solid rocket boosters, which provided 75% of the total thrust at launch, were successfully jettisoned and then the central stage reached near-orbital trajectory. The first ignition of the ICPS upper stage came 51 minutes after the launch. The SLS rocket carried the Orion spacecraft during its first mission, which has cameras on tips of its photovoltaic panels. Therefore, we were able to observe not only their deployment, but also the Orion and the ICPS upper stage. A separation of the Orion from the upper stage occurred one hour and 54 minutes after launch. At that time, the entire stack has already been on its way to the moon. In the following dozens of minutes, 10 CubeSats representing a secondary payload of the Artemis 1 mission were successfully deployed from the upper stage as well. The Orion spacecraft should enter an orbit around the moon in 5 days. If all goes according to a plan, Orion should return to the Earth on December 11th. Although the Artemis 1 is an unmanned mission, the upcoming Artemis 2 mission will already have a crew on board. We should be expecting it at the beginning of 2025. Then people will return to the surface of the moon during the follow-up missions. This is definitely not the last episode dedicated to the Artemis 1 mission. In the following days and weeks, we will repeatedly focus on the subject. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of Spaceflight News episodes. That way you won't miss any news about the Artemis 1 or other interesting projects.